Okay, so I thought I'd do a post actually just to show what we've been looking at in the blog this week and just show quickly and easily how we can get the SDSOC trace up and running. So uh, if you bear with me over the next few minutes, I'll show you how we're going to do that. So as in the blog, we say the first thing we want to do is uh, we want to create a new, a new project. We want to target the Z board and we want to have a standalone operating system. And then we want to check this... Uh, this button here that says enable event tracing we want to make sure that we have sdbug uh, selected there for our for our active configuration and under project if we've not done it before we build it we should probably clean it to ensure that it starts from afresh and there's no incremental builds or anything in there that can get slightly confused and then we can build that we can build the project now I've actually to save time I've actually built this you can see down the bottom it says that it's finished it took me about 20 minutes on my laptop now what I have also done is I have the Z board connected here, so you can see the uh, the UR is connected to, and the uh, JTAG is also connected, and I've powered it up. But as of yet, there's no uh, there's no done or there's no programming lights on there. So I've connected these into my into my hub, and if I go to here and open something like Putte. I can connect it to COM5 and do 115200. Not that I do this often, but I actually know the uh, know them. So we have a putty terminal there. If we go back to SDBug, we can open SDSOC even. We can download, click on this. We can find the ELF that we've built. Right click on the ELF and then go debug, debug as trace application. If we click this, we will see it appears to do nothing for a few moments. Really confused me initially. I was wondering what was going off, but if we click on there, we'll see it. We'll see it actually doing something. So you can see it programming the FPGA, and the FPGA light has come on. And then you will see it down there showing data as it's collecting data and opening the trace. You will also see within our putty window that it's actually output the output the test, and you can see the the number of software cycles running on the software, the number of the accelerated cycles, and the speed up time. Then within the new, new the new uh, within the traces window, you will see the trace, which shows the stop and start events of the software and the accelerators and the transfer, and also the uh, the graphical representation of this, which we can maximize. Clicking on this button here, and then we can zoom in to our heart's content on an area. If you can find, if one can find one, and then you can see that we have a, you can see that we have the software, the software as it's running through here, which is in the orange, the green is in the actual accelerator running, and then the blue is the um, is the transfers. And as you can see, as I hover my mouse above it, you will actually find out the times that it's taken, the dura the start and stop times, the duration, and what is actually going off. So there you have it, nice and simple and easy to get up and running. Thank you for watching.